Hey there, we're back. And last video, we did create a card class. So as you can see here, I've got the basics from our card class. What we're going to do right now is we're about to populate a deck of cards. So in Unity, we've got this deck manager empty game object with a deck of cards script. But right now, it doesn't really do anything. So the first thing we want to do is just make sure that everything is looking good. Let's create a public card variable, and then we'll call this um, test card. So the purpose of this is when we save the script, we want to make sure that it shows up in the inspector. If it doesn't, then one of your permissions is not set correctly. Now currently, I've got this set up so that it would match both types of cards. Like if you had a standard deck of cards, and if you had you know, one of those specialized deck of cards where every card is unique, attack, defense, attribute. This is not something you would have in a standard deck of cards. But for the purposes of populating the deck, we're going to go ahead and keep those enabled. In fact, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to comment all of this out. And I think that'll make things a little bit simpler. Comment that out with a slash star and star slash. And then we'll just stick to a regular deck of cards for this. So what we want to do is in the start function, we want to create all 52 cards that will be in this deck. We have hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. There should be 0 to 12 of each of them. Or you could do like 1 to 13, you know. Yeah, 1 to 13. So we've got ace all the way through 10, and then we have jack, queen, king. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop that goes through 13 cards and assigns them all a specific suit. And then we'll copy that loop four times so that we have one for hearts, one for clubs, one for diamonds, one for spades. What you want to do is you want to start with a four loop. So you want to do four int i equals zero, and then i is less than 13, and then i plus plus. So we've got a for loop. It's going to iterate 13 times, and that will give us one of each number, one of each value for every suit. Now inside of this loop, what we want to do is we want to create a temporary card. So you'll go card temp equals new card. The reason why you do this is because we're going to assign some cards to a deck, and we need this temporary card to manipulate some values as we assign each one. We want to have a public card array, and this card array is going to hold every card in the deck. So we'll call this deck, or you can call it deck of cards, whatever you want. Just don't use the exact same name, otherwise it's not going to work. So now what we want to do is we want to set every value in the deck. Um, if we had just gone through the array and like tried to set values and stuff like that, it wouldn't work quite as well as we wanted it to. So what we'll do first is we'll just go to the deck and initialize it. Deck equals new card. Give it a, a size. So we want it to be 52 in length. So we'll put a 52 in there. If you wanted it to be a different size, let's say 30 or 40 or 100, whatever, you would put that size right over here. This should be the number of cards in the deck or the number of cards possible. I mean, it just depends on what you're trying to do. You have to initialize it with the maximum size. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to go to this new card that we've just created and we want to change some values. So we're depending on i here, and we're going to say the temp dot value equals i because we're iterating 13 times, okay? And then temp dot suit equals, and you have to do card dot suit, not camera, card dot suit dot hearts. We're going to do hearts first, okay? So we've so far changed the value and the suit. And this i will be different for every iteration. It'll be 0, then all the way up to 12. And lastly, what we want to do is, now that this temp has some new values, we're going to go to the deck, and we're going to say deck, and then we give it some kind of index. Let's say i equals 10. Now, just for clarity and for making things easier, let's create another int and call that index. And then every time we loop through this, we'll just increase the index by 1. And instead of putting i here, we can put index. The reason why this will make things easier is now when we change suits, we don't have to change it from like 0 to 12 and 13 to 25 and stuff like that. Instead, we could just use one index that goes all the way up to 51. 51 because it'll be 1 less than 52 since we're starting at 0. So we got a new card, change the value, change the suit. Uh, assign the value of this card to the deck, and then increase the index by 1. So we're going to take this, copy it, and paste it. We're not starting at the initialization, but everything after that, the whole for loop. We'll copy it, and then 
paste it four times. And the only thing we really need to change is, of course, make this every suit that you want to show up. So hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds. So now we have one, two, three, four different suits. And we'll hit save and then go ahead and go back into Unity. Remember, this was in the start function, so it's only going to happen one time. We'll go back into Unity, hit play, and then check out what happens to the deck. So if I open this up, every card will have a value and a suit. And those have already been assigned for us. It is sequential. Here's a key to check right here, the 13th card, or I guess the 14th card. It is now the next suit. You can check the 27, 26. Oh, can't click there. 26. So that'll be the next suit. And then, of course, you can check card number, I believe it's 39. Yep, and that'll be the last suit. So it looks like everything is working properly. We got a full deck of cards, and I'll see you in the next video.